is the DVD update for another DVD update. Alright, like I said, it's me here for another DVD update. I'm going to start off with my Blu-rays. I've been trying to do this video for a while now. I keep getting interrupted by various things, but everyone is out of the house now. So, I should be able to continue. I'm on the floor again, gorilla style. One of these days I might do another update on the tripod on my computer, but until then it's just gorilla style, like I said. Alright, we're going to do the Blu-rays first. I got uh, the following one, two, three, four, five. Five Blu-rays at a sale on J at JNR.com for $11.99 a piece. So let's get started. The unrated edition of Wild Things. As you can see, $11.99. Good, cool price. Um, it's the unrated, unrated edition. Where are we at here? What am I looking for? I don't even know if there's any special features at all. I'm not sure. But if you haven't seen this movie, go ahead and see it. It's pretty good. It's got um, Denise Richards in it, Nev Campbell, uh, Kevin Bacon, and uh, Matt Dillon. Um, it was actually pretty good. It had a lot of good twists in it, I thought. I haven't seen this in a long time, and so, you know, uh, I don't own it on DVD, and I wanted to watch it again. So I grabbed it for $11.99. Next up for $11.99 is The Fifth Element with uh, Bruce Willis and... All the Emila Jovovich, all that stuff, good stuff, and it is the remaster. Uh, the first version that came out on Blu-ray was a really, really bad transfer, and uh, so if you bought it, Sony will replace. I think it's Sony. Sony would re will replace it, um, or Columbia Pictures, Sony, whatever. Uh, will replace. Well, you send it to them, and they'll replace it. But the re how you would know it's it's the. Uh, New, newly remastered version, not the old credit one, is this experience high def right down here, is a, a foil, reflective foil. Um, for the non-remastered version that was crapped up, it'll just be gray. It'll be like this one. Just gray instead of this cool reflective silver type stuff. I um, The reason I got this is because it was eleven ninety nine and I had never seen it and I've always wanted to see it. And some people tell me that it's a pretty cool flick. So, um... Gotta love that. Fifth Element. I will, I'm will. i going to watch these pretty soon. All right now I'm going through the Masters of Horror. And my subspecies box set. So I'll get around to watching these sometime. Next up for $11.99 is uh, the director's cut of Hollow Man. On Blu-ray here. Um, special features are the making of. Fleshing out of Hollow Man. Uh, 15 minute behind the scene featurette. And so, uh, picture comparisons. And so, yeah, I remember this movie, um, and I liked it, so I grabbed it. I haven't seen it in a long, long time, though, since it first came out, so. We'll give that a look as well. Uh, so at least rent it, because, I mean, I remember liking this. I mean, I remember a little bit of what it's about. Uh, he becomes invisible. And, uh, so. I and mean, you guys have probably seen this before. But uh, also, I noticed in the wa when I was rating the Walmart five dollar bin that at Walmart in the five dollar bin you can get Hollow Man two, which is probably obviously came direct to DVD and probably was not that good, which is why it's already in the five dollar bin. Next up for eleven ninety nine is a uh, Heath Ledger, may he rest in peace, great actor. Uh, um, like I said, may he rest in peace. But it's a Knight's Tale. He will rock you. Um, I haven't seen this one since it came out either, but I remember uh, liking it. So I decided to grab it for eleven ninety nine. Um, my brother really liked this one, and uh, well, I can't remember what that other movie that he liked wasn't. I can't remember what the title of that was, but he liked it too. So he's coming home from college. Maybe we'll watch that. He's coming home tomorrow. Shout out to him. He's not on YouTube or anything, but next up for eleven ninety nine is uh, Memento. Memento with um, Guy Pierce. And uh, this was a great movie. I really like this one. Um, good stuff. Like, again, most of these I remember liking. And I remember seeing when they first came out, but I haven't seen them in so long. I can't tell you what I really liked about them. As you can see, all these are still sealed because um, I only open them when I watch them for the first time. Obviously. So, obviously, none of these I've watched on Blu-ray. So, I can't comment on the quality or anything like that. 
but I have seen these before. And uh, actually, every one, every Blu-ray in this update I've seen before. Next up is the ones that I got for $23.99. This one I got for $23.99. Um, 28 weeks later. Yep, that's the newer one that came out. And uh, let's see, we got some special features here. Some commentary, deleted scenes, uh, code red, the making of 28 weeks featurette. The Infected featurette, Getting Into the Action featurette, Two Animated Chapters from the 28 Days Later, The Aftermath, which is a comic book, or a, I think it's a comic book, and uh, then they have the theatrical trailer. And uh, I didn't like this as well as 28 Days Later, but it was, good, it was a good decent flick here. And it was on sale for $23.99, which I think now I just checked Amazon. They're having to sell this week, I think that puts it in at $21 or something but um, I'd already bought it from here so and had already gotten it so still $23.99 is a decent price for it I think and so on the next one I think I paid 21 bucks for this or maybe it was 23 um, I'm not too sure was it $17.99 no I can't have been that it was probably 23 but uh, well, it was Casino Royale this is one of the first Blue A's that I wanted to buy but it came out at thirty dollars, and I was like, no, 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 I'll wait till it price drops, cause I really, I really liked this Bond too. Uh, he did it okay. This guy, what was his name? Can't believe his name just slipped me here. Wow, Daniel Craig. But um, he did okay. Um, here's the special features. He did okay, Bond. Coming Bond, James Bond for real, Bond Girls Are Forever, which came out in 2006. And it's in standard definition. And Chris Cornell music video, and also in standard definition. So then, special features, not, uh, not rigged, of course. But yeah, that was a pretty good Bond film. I don't really like the title of the new one coming out, which I can't really remember it, but I remember I don't like it. For this video, I can't tell you the title. I probably should be more prepared for that. But it's better than some of the other names I had suggested. Plus, it's the only... Uh, title of the book that hasn't been used. Now this this next one I got uh, is 28 Days Later. It says 23.99 on the sale, but on the website it was uh, it might have been mislabeled. I don't know, but it was 17.99 for this one. So I bought this, and I haven't seen this uh, since it came out either. Um, of course, it's got the commentary, deleted scenes, almost the same stuff as 28 Weeks Later, except for 28 Days Later. So I don't know if they mismarked it on the website for $17.99, but that's what I paid for it. That's what the credit card bill says. And, um, you know, I, I like that one too. I think I, I like this one better than 28 Weeks, but they're both still good. Next two I got Walmart for pretty much uh, full price, but I had, a, I had a gift card, which didn't work, which pissed me off. Well, actually, it wasn't a gift card specifically designed for Walmart. It was a gift card uh, that... Um, it was a gift card that uh, could be used as a Visa debit card, and, and it wouldn't accept it. Kind of pissed me off, but um, the two-disc unrated edition of Superbad from the guys who brought you, brought you um, of course, uh, knocked up in the four-year-old version. Uh, this is one of my favorite favorite comedies that came out last year, um, and of course, it's the two-disc. I have opened this because I watched all the special features. It's the two-disc. There's disc one. And uh, there's disc two. Disc, the second disc is just all special features, and the first disc is the movie and a little bit of special features. And um, I watched pretty much, I'm pretty much all the special features. I'm saving this because this is one of my brother's favorite movies too, so I didn't watch it yet to comment on the quality because when he gets home tomorrow, we'll probably watch it together since he liked it so much. Um, but I have watched the, the special features are pretty good. I wish they would have went more into the making of. Of super bad when they do the super the making of super bad it's more of them just standing around telling jokes kind of stuff not in into the real production but um it's got deleted scenes and extended scenes gag reel line rama cop car confessions um the making of super bad the original table read um commentary with the filmmakers and cast the pineapple express first look